Today I'm going to do my annual water change in the concrete tubs where some goldfish live. Their job is to eat the wrigglers so we don't end up with mosquitoes in the house. As you can see it's a water trough for animals, dogs, chickens and any other wildlife. You're not supposed to get in it, Vicky. I don't normally let the water level get so low, but knowing that I was going to change it over, I have. The water level will get low for two reasons. One, the animals drink. Uh, the other thing is evaporation and wind. So three reasons, really. We live just inside the Roaring Forties, so some of the winds we get here are pretty full on just as a regular basis without any storm activity. So the emptying out basically consists of me bucketing it out and I have a lemon tree just down here planted this year which is due for a good soaking. I have to make sure I haven't captured any of the goldfish or when I do, they go into a different bucket. Okay, I have one fish, at least. Oh, there you go. I think there's only one there. Okay. There you go, fishy. We'll all get better soon. It's pretty murky, there's the other one. There you go. That's it. The two fish captured. That's all this pond can support. Call that manure, fish manure. It's great food for the trees. I have a lily in here which hasn't been doing so well the last couple of years. Um, oh, it smells. It's a bit um, not very happy at all actually. And it hasn't flowered for probably the last two years. It did in the first two. My fish alone. Get out of my lilium. My lily. Look out, you'll get wet. All that lovely sludge and water goes onto my young lemon tree. So it's not only is it getting a drink, it's getting a feed. So a year's worth of sludge in the bottom of the tank or tub. It's not too bad really. The water's pretty dark though. And here are the poor fish in their dark water. Don't worry fish, it will all improve soon. So, just to help, I'll put a little bit of fresh water in to help get the last bits out. Easier to scoop it with this. And just to give the fish a little bit of more fresh water to what they're in at the moment, I'll transfer them over to this. We are on both tank and bore water so no chlorine or any other added things so I don't need to worry about 
agents that will harm the fish. So there they are in a bit of fresh water waiting for their new pond. Now this second pond there should be two fish in here as well. I've only seen one in fairly recent times but today now that I'm emptying it I'm not seeing any. I've had fish die in this pond in the past so I thought there might have been some sort of disease in it so I left it empty for two years then reintroduced fish they've been fine for a year until just recently when they seem to have gone again so I'll just empty this slowly to make sure there's no fish in here because it's so dark ostensibly the same conditions as the other pond and yet it's not as supportive of fish but there are a lot of snails in here and slug like things oh they're like jellyfish they're like jellyfish clear and that's a bit of algae and there are actually two there or maybe not we'll get this emptied out so there are definitely no fish in here look at that thick sludge As I said earlier, I only empty it once a year. This tub has the original two fish which have been here for four years. I do not feed them. Yet this one, for whatever reason, is only supportive of fish life on a limited basis. And yet those little sluggy things and the snails are doing fine. And the slugs hang on quite well when you wash the side of the trough. So now I start filling the tubs up. Cobber is beside himself. He absolutely adores the hose. He saw me plug it in, ran off to the vegetable garden because that's usually what happens. The sprinkler comes on in the vegetable garden. And this is the first time I've got the hose out for a different area of the garden. So he's very impressed that there's water coming out here. Is that a celebratory drink cob? Oh, he just knocked the fish over. Luckily there's enough water in there that they'll be happy to swim free shortly. Well, they're in there, it's a bit hard to see them. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for the tubs to fill, yes, I will fill both of them. And I'll just see how I go as far as the mosquitoes go in the upper trough. While I'm waiting, I'll just tidy up around here a bit, disentangle that hose, which is actually four hoses to give it the reach that I want. I'd like to be able to run the water in from above to help with the oxygenation. But I'll show you what happens when Cobber discovers that's what's happening. He's even worse if it, the hose has a nozzle on it. Incoming dog. You love it, don't you, Cobber? <coughs> oh, Vicky, don't you join me. If left to his own devices, he'll end up shifting that hose 
because he just adores it. You love it, don't you, Cobb? As I said, if it had a nozzle on it, he'd be beside himself. It's not so bad if it's a sprinkler. The nozzle is his favourite. He comes in from the garden soaking wet by the time we're done. So the remnants of those two lilies, I've decided to put them into pots. They're probably too deep. And I've put them on bricks to give them some height. Um, I think they would have died if I did nothing, so it certainly can't hurt to try this. Yes, I know you're there. You're very keen, Mr. Cobber. Oh, Bicky's barking at something, but you're not willing to leave your post, are you? I've put a couple of sticks in on the edges. <laughs> Bees and other insects that fall in the water, they're able to climb out using the sticks. Yes, I changed the stick, didn't I, Bicky? That's a better one. It won't fall out so easily. I went into town this morning. I was going to buy a new lily plant, but they were $30, and I wasn't going to do that. So instead, I bought this thing. It is a Ranunculus prasinus, otherwise known as Tunbridge Buttercup, a native of Tasmania, I like shallow water. So I've put it on some bricks. I'll see how the lilies go in the pots that I've put them in. And if they do, I'll put one back in the other pond.